You're welcome to PSLE Max. Let's look at a question from Anglo Chinese School 2018 prelims paper. This is question number 12. It's a pattern problem. Michael uses identical shaded and unshaded triangles to form figures that follow a pattern as shown below. So figure 1, 2, 3 is given. The table shows the number of shaded and unshaded triangles for the first three figures. Complete the table for figure 4. The number of shaded triangles for figure 1 is 4, which is 2 times 2. Number of shaded triangles for figure 2 is 9, which is 3 times 3. And for figure 3 is 16, which is 4 times 4. So this actually follows square number pattern. So for figure 4, it is 5 times 5, which is 25. The number of unshaded triangles is 3, 5, 7. So that's a difference of 2. So the next one should be 9. So the total number of shaded and unshaded triangles is just the sum of the two, which is 25 plus 9, which is 34. Coming to part B of the question, a figure in the pattern has a total of 529 shaded triangles. What is the figure number? Let's derive the formula for figure N. For figure 4, the number of shaded triangles is 5 times 5. So for figure N, the number of shaded triangles would be N plus 1 times N plus 1 which is nothing but n plus 1 square. A figure has 529 shaded triangles, which means n plus 1 times n plus 1 is 529, which means we need to find the square root of 529. Use the square root function on the calculator. So root of 529 is 23. 23 is n plus 1. So 23 minus 1 is 22. So figure number 22 would have 529 shaded triangles. So that answers the part B of the question. Now coming to part C of the question. Another figure in the pattern has a total of 63 unshaded triangles. What is the total number of shaded and unshaded triangles in this figure? Compared to figure 3, figure 2 has two less unshaded triangles. Compared to figure 2, figure 1 has two less unshaded triangles. So figure zero would have three minus two, which is just one unshaded triangle. So that becomes our constant. So constant here is one. And the increase in the number of unshaded triangles per figure is two. So the number of unshaded triangles for figure one is two times one plus one. Figure two is two times two plus one. Figure three is two times three plus one. So for figure n, it would be 2 times n plus 1, which can be written as 2n plus 1. The numbers in unshaded triangles follow the constant difference pattern. If you have trouble deriving formula, please look up at the link at the right corner. The number of unshaded triangles is given to be 63, which means 2 times n plus 1 is equal to 63. So 2n is equal to 62. So we get the value of n to be equal to 31, which means this is figure number 31. The question is, what is the total number of shaded and unshaded triangles in this figure? For figure 31, the number of shaded triangles is 32 times 32 is equal to 1024 triangles. The number of unshaded triangles, we know it to be equal to 63. So that's a total of 1087 triangles. So that's the answer to part C of the question. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums. If you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.